filmed a vicious attack caught on camera. A Detroit teacher fights off a pack of angry dogs as students rush for safety. And thanks for being with us. It tops our news at five. We're told that teacher is recovering at home tonight after such an attack. And chilling video that you just saw there. Here's some more of it. It was recorded yesterday just as school let out at Clark Elementary on Detroit's east side. The teacher even grabs a folding chair to get these dogs away from him. Imagine just how terrifying that is. Let's bring in Paula Tutman. Now, Paula, you've been speaking to parents and the district about this. I don't know if they've seen the video, but no one wants to find themselves in that situation. Hey guys, let's first talk about that teacher. There's a hero out there, someone who put himself in harm's way to protect those children, also those parents trying to intervene. I do want to tell you that I spoke to the principal today. Uh, he told me that the parents had been notified of the problem yesterday. Every single parent I talked to today on the ground who was not there yesterday said they had no idea what had happened. He also said that no children were involved or were ever in danger. The video says something else completely different. I don't know if you can say a ball was dropped. I do think you'll see many balls were dropped here in keeping children safe. On first at four, we showed you the horrifying video. School dismissal time yesterday at J.E. Clark Preparatory Academy on the city's east side, a DPS school. Three dogs appear from a house situated near the school. They appear to be pit bulls and are savagely attacking anyone. A hero emerges, a teacher who puts himself between the dogs and the children. Parents in vehicles try to distract the dogs, separate them from the teacher, even run them over, while screaming children are herded out of danger's way. The dogs came out, started attacking the teacher. He's trying to keep the dogs away from getting to the children at the school. Someone throws a folding chair to the teacher. He uses it like a saber to fight off the dogs. The dog's owner appears, seemingly indignant that his dogs are under attack. Parents approach, but are forced to quickly retreat. I was afraid that the dogs was going to attack me and my little sisters. The dogs continue to circle and attack and bite the teacher. Here's the problem. Almost 24 hours later, when we made contact with the school principal, he couldn't answer one question. Where are the dogs now? <laughs> We showed the video to the spokesperson at DPS who knew nothing about the incident until we told her and showed her. I've, I've been moving fast on this because I just found out with a call from the media. Williams also promises us that children will be protected today by police canine and DPS police units at discharge. Make sure that our um, kids, our teachers and staff aren't in danger. But at discharge today, for the first three quarters of the release, while there were members of the faculty ferrying children past the so-called doghouse, no police were in sight. They did not show up until the last few minutes children were walking away from the school. Now, I do want to let you know we are no longer at the school. We've actually moved away because we didn't feel safe because the question still remains. Where are those dogs? Now, uh, Crystal Wilson did give me a written statement. I do want to go over it with you right now. She says, we are working to ensure that our school campuses are safe for our staff and children. However, we do need the help of the community. We are deeply troubled that the owner did not appropriately harness the dogs and this careless action put our students, teachers and parents in harm's way. We will continue to work with city officials to enforce all permissible laws surrounding our schools and ensure the safety of our most valuable assets. We wish our teacher well and hope for a full and rapid recovery. Listen, another piece of this story, we, we spent a great deal of time with Crystal Wilson today when we showed her that video and we actually show her navigating trying to get those kids kids safe in the last two hours before school is let out. That part of the story today at six, as you can see, it did not work. This story clearly not over today because one big question, guys, where are the dogs? No one knows. Well, Paula, okay, so we don't know where the dogs are. Can we tell us how the teacher's doing? Well, my understanding is he will be okay. He wasn't in school today. He did get bitten. I don't yeah. know how many times, but 
again, that's part of the story as well. Those dogs need to be found. They're and dangerous. They bit someone. They need to find out whether or not they're rabid. Lots of questions, not enough answers. All right, I can hear it in your voice, and we are going to get to the bottom of it, I'm sure. Our Paula Tutman reporting for us live.